Hello, my name is Kaylin Johnson, and this is my final presentation for Journalism 422 Social Media Writing. So for my beat and the content that I decided to cover for this class, I really wanted to focus on entertainment, lifestyle, things that really interested me. So I'm really into fashion and beauty as well as all things pop culture. So that's what I originally set out to report on. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, it was a bit hard to kind of report on that in like a new and innovative way since so many people were I guess struggling with how to bring that content into a COVID-19 world. So what I did find myself writing a lot about was the election. And I'm not the biggest fan of politics. I'm not the most well versed on politics. However, I did find it very interesting and it was also a challenge for myself. So one of my favorite stories that I wrote this year was I wrote about Senator Kamala Harris, well now Vice President-elect Harris, and what her nomination meant for African American women in politics. So I got to interview a lot of young ladies on campus who were heavily involved in politics, as well as those who weren't as involved in politics, to see what that meant for them and how she has inspired them. Um, I have this picture of the Glee cast on here because that was what one of my first blog posts was about. That was a show that I really liked. And during the time that I wrote that blog post, one of the actors tragically passed away. And so it was creating a lot of, I guess, a new audience for the show. So I wanted to write about what that show meant to me, as well as what it means to other people in different generations and why that show was so important and so, um, I guess, prominent to pop culture. Um, pictured to the left is a picture of a Riverdale actress, Lily Reinhardt. I put her up here because while I do admire her article on Nylon, I did write a story about how she was found pretty controversial in the new wake of the Black Lives Matter riots and movements for some of the posts that she did. So I found a way to be able to offer commentary on that, as well as what that meant to other people during the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, I also have a picture to the right of a makeup artist on Instagram, and I wrote a story on how people were using Instagram and other social media platforms during the pandemic to still engage with their followers, as well as does the makeup industry even still have like an audience as well as a place during the pandemic. So those are a few of the stories I wrote. I'm not pictured here, but one of my favorite stories I wrote about Megan Thee Stallion, who was shot in her foot, and how that opened up a really big conversation about protecting black women, um, and how she's an advocate for that, as well as how the New York Times picked up her article. So that was just a few of the content that I produced for this semester on my website. And overall, I'm very proud of what I produced. While it was not what I directly intended on producing, I'm still proud of what I produced. So now I will talk a little bit more about my blogging experience. So as a journalist, one of the things that I intend, to, well, the field that I intend to write and report on is I want to go into magazine and editorial style writing. And that's kind of a hard, um, I guess, industry to break into, especially coming out of college. So one of my goals this semester was to actually start a blog so that I could get my portfolio out there and, you know, push myself as a writer. So actually, my blogging experience was very positive. One of the challenges that I encountered, which I think any writer really encounters, is coming up with new content to produce. So as I stated before, I really wanted to write a lot about fashion beauty, lifestyle, entertainment, and unfortunately due to COVID, I was not able to report on those things like I would like to. I also do not have the resources to get the insider scoop as I would like to in the future, of course, on entertainment and other things. Um, and also, I stayed at home this semester, so I really had to um, use my resources around me from social media, whether that was Zoom interviews. Um, and that's actually another part that I want to talk about, which was one of my favorite parts of blogging was using zoom interviews and how much fun that was so i could call someone who's six hours away and i can still have an in-depth in-depth interview with them and i really like that i'm able to record our conversations not only for notes but they were 
really big parts in my multimedia stories. Um, one of my favorite interviews was with Carmen Jones. Carmen Jones is the first African American woman to serve as student body president at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville and I did a Zoom interview with her and I was able to use tidbits of her interview for my story to make it more engaging and the content more engaging and it turned out really well. Um, the blogging experience definitely pushed me as a writer to come up with new content. Um, it was definitely a struggle um, so just finding ways and new angles to give my voice as well as something that my readers might want to hear. Also, like I said, kind of being okay with realizing that I wouldn't be able to write about the certain content that I want to and still being able to deliver my voice. Um, as stated before, I'm not the biggest um, fan of politics. I'm not that versed in that area, but I was able to use the presidential election that was coming up and create some content that I am very proud of. So one of my stories was on, like I said, first time female voters, as well as I did a story on how different campus organizations um, significantly contributed to black voter turnout. And so I was able to tell that story of different students on campus who might not get their voices heard, but are definitely impacting the campus community well and overall contributing to the world and politics today so I feel like that was interesting I also was able to learn a lot of things so through blogging I was able to definitely test my creative side um, I was able to use a lot of techniques that I learned in my other classes so I was able to use my media editing skills so learning about search engine optimization as well as relevant tags for my story that was very helpful as well so now I will talk about my social media experience. So I've always been a huge fan of social media. I think it's great, especially for connecting with friends and just showing a part of your world to your friends and family. However, I will say that this has always been something I've struggled with as a creative and a professional to use to my advantage. So when I was able to see how these different platforms can come together to not only help tell a story, to but to promote uh, my brand and image as a writer I was very excited so I'll start with Twitter because I'll say that was the most difficult one for me to use because I have never been a huge user of Twitter um, I get on there and I like and I retweet a few things but I've never been the person to be able to compose tweets and accurately write about things so for me to have to use that to market my stories it was a challenge but it was definitely beneficial overall um I will say I'm still struggling to let that be one of my main apps that I use. I'm a really big fan of how fashion magazines and lifestyle magazines have their stories linked to Instagram and their Instagram posts tell the stories leading back to an even bigger story. So that's the platform I've always used, but as stated before, I'm now better at using Twitter and I can incorporate it more into my brand as well as my social media presence. Facebook was also a little difficult to um, navigate simply because I have a lot of Facebook friends already on my regular page and I wanted, to, while I could easily ask them to like the page, I definitely wanted all of my um, engagement, my readers, and my content to directly correlate with the, whoever was actually reading my articles, not just from friends and family support. So I didn't get any likes on my social media page. Um, I do see what kind of works with Twitter. So my stories that have a lot of content, features, things that I can post directly on the site without revealing the whole story that really works well for me gaining followers and things on my social media page so in general my social media experience in this class was really well I learned a lot um, definitely learned a lot through Hootsuite as well as the different analytics that we use um, and also being able to be pushed outside of my comfort zone to create content and to share that content and it's also a way for me to reach different audiences that I might not be able to reach through hey can you read this through my, my text messages, my personal social media accounts, and other avenues. So with analytics, this was something definitely um, new to me. I'm not a big numbers person. Math is not my strong suit. So I was thinking, going into this thinking it would be a bit of a challenge to make sense of the numbers and what do they mean. But it actually wasn't that hard to navigate. Um, I found that they proved to be extremely helpful to understanding my content. Um, I really like that I have a premium version of WordPress so I can see 
dating back from my first post, how much I've grown as a writer with my content, as well as what readers like to see, like what type of posts, um, what type of engagement they are really interacting with. And I found those to be my multimedia stories with different components, such as pictures, polls, videos, and other social media components. Um, this was very helpful for me, like I said, to gauge my followers insight who was reading what what stories were most popular what days were traffic driven up on where a lot of those people coming from different social media platforms so the analytics were definitely a big help in me improving my stance as a journalist and my credibility as well so I can definitely pull data and other things into my work when I'm telling other people about my website my work how many people are reading it what are my engagement rates like so my reflection and future plans. So overall, I definitely enjoyed this class. When I was signing up for it, I was so excited. This was definitely a class I was looking forward to the most. And it has definitely become my favorite class this semester. Um, I've always loved journalism. And this just gave me a way to definitely be creative without any restrictions while still helping me to you know, hone in and see why I want to be a journalist as well as helping to market myself as a better journalist by being more marketable and versatile through other social media platforms. Um, in the future, I plan to move to New York City where I will be pursuing a job writing editorially for a fashion, beauty, or lifestyle publication such as Nylon, um, Team Vogue, Refinery29, or Seventeen Magazine. And with the digital landscape, go well, with a lot of magazines going solely digital such as Team Vogue and Seventeen, I know that the um, topics and the tips that I picked up in this class will definitely help me in my future endeavors. So. I thoroughly enjoyed this class. I know that it is a class that I can definitely say that I learned a lot from. None of the work felt like busy work. I knew that this was always going to help me in the long run. And it never seemed like work because it was something I thoroughly enjoyed doing. So thank you so much for all of your help and support throughout this semester. And that is all for my presentation. Thank you.